Welcome everybody to the Westridge Avenue Area Water and Sewer Improvement Community Design Meeting. If you are not already muted, please mute yourself. Um, you can ask your questions after the presentation is finished. Your project manager is Dina Johnson. We also have our engineering design consultant, Brian Sharib, on this call if you have any questions. And if you can see the chat message, if you can open that up, it has, uh, it's, this is also in the PowerPoint. You can see how to get to this page on the City of Fort Worth website. And on that website, we will post a PDF of this PowerPoint presentation as well as this video of the meeting. Okay, I'm going to hand this over to Dina Johnson. Good evening, everyone. Um, thank you for attending this community design meeting for Westridge Avenue Area Water and Sewer Improvements. We have an agenda. We're going to start with introduction, project overview, project area, frequently asked questions, and timeline. I'm Dina Johnson, project manager. My telephone number 817-392-7866, dina.johnson at fortworthtexas.gov. The design engineer consultant is Dunaway. Brian Sharif is the project manager. Uh, Fort Worth prioritized replacing water and sewer lines that have high risk of failure. The risk of failure is determined actually based on the available data, which include water main break history, leak history, CCTV inspection. This is where we install a camera inside the pipe to tell us the condition of the pipe, edge of the line, line material, lead service lines, and cast iron lines. This project will replace the cast iron water lines on Westridge Avenue, Ridgeway Street, Edge Hill Road, to address frequent main breaks, Fort Worth Water Management has committed to replace a minimum of 20 miles of the cast iron pipe every year. And currently we have about 55 miles of cast iron mains at various stages of design for replacement in fiscal year 2023 and beyond. This project is in Council District 3. Construction will impact the Ridgely Area Neighborhood Alliance, Ridgely Hills Neighborhood Association and Plum Valley Place HOA. Sanitary sewer mains and water mains will be replaced in an area bounded by Camp Bowie Boulevard to the north, Brian Irvin Road to the east, West Vickery Boulevard to the south, and Edge Hill Road to the west. Landmarks include Ridgely Country Club, a village at Camp Bowie, Primrose School of Fort Worth West, and homes as well as apartment complexes. We would be replacing water and sewer on Westridge Avenue from Campbell Boulevard to Westridge, and also water and sewer on Edge Hill Road from Sealand Lane to Westridge Avenue. Water replacement on Ridgely Place 400 feet from Westridge Lane to the west. Also water replacement on Ridgeway Street from Westridge Avenue to Winthrop Avenue East. And finally, we have water line replacement in an easement north of Ridgeway Street from 160 feet north of the Ridgeway Street Westridge Avenue intersection to about 550 feet southeast. Water would be turned off during construction for about 15 to 30 minutes only. This is when the service is transferred from the existing line to a temporary water line. And when we transfer the service from the temporary line to the new line. Those switchovers will be done during the day. The contractor will knock on the door and let customer know when the water will be turned off. The transfer normally takes about 30 minutes for a house or business. The temporary water line is to ensure that you are not without water during construction. In the summer month, the continuous flow keeps the water from becoming stagnant in the above the ground line. During the winter month, water must be continually flowing through the temporary line to keep the line from freezing. Customers also should keep their faucet dripping. The bill for your water usage while you are on the temporary line is based on the average previous month usage. That's how it's calculated. Construction will be in the street and easements. If Fort Worth Water need to access your property, we will contact you. And if we need an easement from you, a city land agent will contact you as soon as possible. 
Sanitary sewer service will be not interrupted at any time. A new sewer clean out will be installed at the property or easement line. The sewer clean out provide crews easy access if a backup or blockage occurs. When we get to the construction phase of this project, the inspector and the contractor, which is you're gonna meet later on in another meeting, will work with the residents and businesses who need a driveway access during active construction hours. We will have a traffic control in place prior to start of construction. If your side of the street is closed on your scheduled trash collection day, the contractor will take your trash and recycling carts to the opposite side of the street so the trash collection vehicle will pick it up. We will have lane closures during construction and signs will be posted to alert motorists. Construction hours normally between 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., Monday through Friday, and if requested by the contractor, it will be from 9 to 4 or 5 p.m. on his Saturdays. This project is in the design phase. We'll have more information after the contractor is approved by the City Council. We will host another pre-construction meeting with the contractor, and the inspector also will be there to set up uh, the start date for the construction, and we will create a schedule for the street that will be impacted during construction. We will host a community construction meeting before the contractor breaks ground. For more information, you can go to www.fortworthtexas.gov and type in the project number 103500 in the search bar on the homepage. Wedgwood and South Hills water and sewer improvements will pop up. To get project page update, scroll down to the bottom of the project page and click on subscribe to this page. The link to a PDF of the PowerPoint and link to the YouTube video, this presentation will be posted on the project page. For any emergencies of water main breaks, sewer backs up 24 hours a day, you can call 817-392-4477, choose option one. For non-emergency from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, you can call the same number, 817-392-4477, closed on city holiday. Download the My FW app from the App Store or Google Play you can report sewer overflows, leaks, and water main breaks, missing or broken meter leads, water theft, water violation, no water service, water pressure issues, and sewer con any other sewer concerns, actually. Again, I'm Dina Johnson, project manager. My telephone number 817-392-7866. My email address is dina.johnson at fortworthtexas.gov. The design consultant engineer would turn away. An associate is Brian Shuri. And now I want to thank you for attending this presentation and we're going to open it for questions. We don't have anything. I'm sorry, Meryl, just a second. Let me pull that back up. Okay. Uh, Meryl Kelly, said, can you, can you hear me? Okay. Meryl, you said, um, you said that there will be a knock on the door before the water outages. Will that be true for homes within the gated neighborhoods as well? Yes. Yes, because they're going to be inside the gated community if they needed to or whatever, if they needed to. If they need, if they're going to be uh, cutting the water for any other time, they'll be reaching out to you. Okay. Okay, um, Leanna, can you give us can you give us an idea as to when this construction will begin? Uh, we're thinking about um, late uh, winter. We're going to start construction. Okay. Uh, let me look one more time. Okay, if you're not muted, can you mute yourself? Okay, Leanna says of uh, this year? Uh, 2024, in the winter, 2024, yes. Okay, and I missed one from Wade. Wade said general idea, well, he's asking the same thing, uh, general idea on the start date of construction and time to complete. So you've answered that question? 
Yes, um, I asked uh, the consultant to come up with a timeline, how much it's going to take to complete this project. Where do you have those information? Yeah, what's what's going to happen is the, the franchise utilities are going to start to move first, which comes before this project. And and right now, um, the gas that the gas company probably has the most extensive work. So you'll see gas get out there here in October and work through about February. After which time the the contractor for this project will will come online. Um, so you'll probably see it in the you know February, maybe early March, but they they need to get started sooner than later. Um, they're gonna there's actually three sets of utilities in Westridge. It makes it a little difficult, and almost everything's gonna go back within the same trench line. So every almost everything, with a few exceptions, is gonna be between the curb lines. Um, and and one of one of the one of the items that's going to take a little bit longer is there's a there's a 24 inch pipe on this project that really can't be taken out of service during the summer or that puts out a lot of the city, so they're going to um, install the largest water line in in the fall of 2024, but all the smaller utilities will be replaced before then. Okay, we've got a question from Leanna. Um, she said, she's saying gas operations begin this fall. Does that affect lane closures as well? Uh, temporary. Um, gas has gotten really good about replacing a lot of their lines within the ground. Uh, we don't have final design from them just yet. They've been provided everything that the city is going to be doing. So I think you're going to see some service lines every once in a while that are replaced, and that may be a couple hours of downtime. Um, depending on what, you know, most often in modern times, they're actually using a method where they trench underground. So you may see some, um, you know, coned off areas. So it'd be inconvenient, but you shouldn't see the whole lane shut down for, for gas operations. Okay. Camille said, um, will any consideration be given to replace the water mains and sewer on the additional streets in the Ridgely neighborhood? For example, Winthrop Avenue West, Sharon, and Winthrop Avenue East. Those those will be probably on a future project, but not with this project. Okay. Um, John Van Son, will the entire road surface be replaced? Yes, it will yeah. be replaced. Yes, we will be okay. working with TPW Transportation Public Works on the pavement, uh, the type of pavement, whatever we have out there. We're going to be replacing and putting it back in in original best uh, shape as it was before. Yes. Okay. He also asked, are any other, will there be any other changes to the roadway? No. You know, Brian? Okay. Yeah. Um, Tina, how long will the disruption last? It sounds like it may start in October soon and could go for a year. So is it going to be, Brian, you might be able to answer this. It's going to be a 365 day project. It, the, the city's project itself. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna look at keeping it within a year. The city's portion really starts in in February. The big work that you're gonna see, uh, you know, is it with the replacement of of utility pipes is gonna take place in the in the early spring through through the end of the year. The pavement after that, the we've got to give the franchise utilities enough time to clear their uh, conflicts. Um, so that we don't run into them so that the, you know, the water and sewer contractor does not run into them. Um, and there's been a lot of coordination between the, the franchise utilities and the city's utilities. It's a very, uh, the corridor just has a lot going on uh, within it. So there's a lot more coordination than say a normal residential street. Okay, do we have a um, ballpark date of when we'll be getting a contractor on board. I know we have to advertise and things like that. Do we have a ballpark idea when that'll happen? Dana, I believe we're in Santa. Okay, go ahead. We're, we're gonna be bidding soon. And so the contractor I think is gonna be on board uh, before construction starts. Um, you know, I believe the intent is gonna be around the first of the year. Okay. Um, okay, we've got Leanna, just to be clear. Gas operations begin in October 2023, and water operations begin February of 2024, and will be completed before the end of 2024. That that would be the goal. We're going to be. 
put some, put some arms in there. there. They may have, they to, have use to use two crews to do it. They've, they've got, got to do their do work in the winter, winter months so that they don't they affect the city's operation. operation. This, this water line can't be taken, taken, taken out, out of the, the taken out of service during the summer. And I'm echoing. I apologize there. That's okay. You, it wasn't you. I, I think Brian was not very clear at the end. Uh, Brian, I don't know if everybody heard what you said, but you, um, I just want to emphasize something. Um, weather permitting, normally you would like to finish this project by the end of next year, but with anticipation of the weather, it might take up to 18 months to finish. And um, do you agree with the timing, Brian, on the length of the project and ordering material? The, 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 and, and we're trying to phase it right now. One of the last things we do to go to before we bid is we know that large diameter pipe takes some time to get. Um, but while the contractor orders that pipe, he can start on the smaller diameter, uh, smaller diameter lines. Dina, can you go back to the project map? Go and where? Sorry. I'm sorry. Where do you want to go? Can you go back to the project map? Yes. Okay, um, another question from chat. Wait a minute. Let okay. Me go to the map. okay, here we go. Thank you. Um, let me see, just to be clear. Okay, uh, during this time, will West Ridge from Camp Bowie to Vickery be completely closed off, or will we be able to access this section of West Ridge? It will never be completely closed off, certainly not permanently. Um, if the contract so there'll be one lane open, issue, Brian, there, there would always be one lane open. Yeah. In fact, a lot of the sanitary sewer is going to be replaced by a method called pipe bursting, where they'll probably uh, go to one man hall on each side of the section and do most of the work underground. So you're going to have temporary closures. Um, when they when they put the water pipe in the ground, they were required to cover uh, their work. Uh, that day, so you're going to have some temporarily temporary lane closures. You're going to have some barricading at, at locations where the contractor has to um, leave the ground open for that night, or you know, there's something happening right there where they need to get back to the access point. But the goal and intent is to um, never close the road completely down. Uh, certainly not for the whole length. And if the contractor is having to do that, it's probably because he's discovered something that's not quite working right, or he needs to get special permission to do one very specific operation. The intent's not to close the road for the whole project. There should always be at least a one lane open. Okay, so that kind of goes into this next question. So when you say phased project, can you help walk us through the various phases, the most ideal situation? Yes, um, what you'll see probably going into the spring and into the uh, summer is, is there's a there's a 12 inch water line that runs down the street, mostly on the west on the east side of the street and a sanitary sewer that kind of runs through the center. The contractor will be responsible for replacing sections of that line from Camp Bowie down to Westridge. Um, Far. So your, your, your disruptions are going to mo be mostly from the center to the east side of the street. Um, in the fall and in the winter of next year, uh, most of the lot, the 24 inch or 30 inch line, it's going to be upsized. Will be placed in from north of Ridgeway down to Edge Hill and then Edge Hill over to sea uh, lands. Most of that's that's on the west side. So it's you're going to see more barricading on the east side early on, um, and then as as um, he rolls over to the large diameter pipe, you're going to see more of the barricading there on the west side. Okay. He's never going to um, have the whole. He's never going to have one full lane closed the whole time. He's going to barricade his area he's working, but when he's not in that area, you might have some. Uh, you might see a trench line, but it would be drivable. Okay, now South Cole um, asks, will there be any improvements to sidewalks or will sidewalks be added when streets are repaired? Not, we, not with We this will project. not have any sidewalk added on this project. How about repairs? No, no repairs. Okay. okay. All right, that's all I've got in the chat. Um, does someone have a question they want to ask? I've got you all muted. Can you unmute yourself if you want to ask a question? 
to go down. Okay. We've got Camille. Do you have any questions? Hi, can you hear me? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, great. Thank you. First, just thank you for having the meeting and answering all the questions. Really appreciate that. When it comes um, to establishing detours, and this may be a question that's better suited for the pre-construction meeting, um, is there a way to avoid the like Ridgely neighborhood um, and maybe detour people Milburn over to Brian Irving and down? But it sounds like, I guess, for the most part, maybe the roads are going to, I guess, I don't know if there's ever going to be a time where you need maybe just. We'll never, to... yeah, we'll never have to my, to, you know, as we look at the project right now, I don't think we're going to have a permanent detour. Okay. It, the, the contractor, when he finally starts to look at his, what he needs to do, if he identifies something, you know, because he has a piece of equipment that needs to sit to the side of a ditch, mm -hmm. he's going to have to, he's going to have to provide what he wants to do to the city first for approval uh, before he can do that. Okay. Um, chances are highly likely we're never gonna shut down the entire road. There's there's always gonna be at least one lane of traffic. I just want to normally during construction, the contractor has to present a traffic control plan and it has to be approved by the city. Till then we'll share that with you during the next meeting, during the construction meeting. Wonderful, thank you so much. Okay, I'm just going to keep going down the list. Um, I've got Chris Gooch. I think you've asked some questions. Do you have any others? Okay, um, we've got E. Moses. Do you have any questions? Okay, Harry, any questions? Okay, John Van Son. No, I'm good. Thank you. Okay. All right. We've got Leanna. No, thank you. I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Meryl King. I'm good. Thank you. Okay. RJ Stark. Okay, uh, South Cole, I think you asked a question. Did you have any more? Yes, just just to follow up on that last question. I know this is this is not a project for sidewalks, but I'm wondering as this was uh, being reviewed and planned, were there any considerations for future projects that would include sidewalks extending the length of Westridge? This is a water department project. And normally sidewalks improvement will be handled by transportation and public works. Um, they are the one who can fund those type of projects. Got it. Got it. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Uh -huh. Okay. Tina Castillo. No, thank you guys. It's been very informative. Okay. And the last one is Wade Cowden. Now that that answered all my questions. Essentially, we're getting ready to start, and it'll probably take us till the end of next year, and just keep our eyes open for what's going on when it's happening. Okay. Dina, anything else you want to talk about? No, uh, I I think a lot of uh, those questions will be more clarified during our next con uh, pre-construction meeting, and. Okay. Um, like on the traffic and on the lane closures, all these will be more clarified when we have the contractor on board. Dina, can you go back to that slide that has um, how to find the page? Should be the oh, last. the last one. Okay. Yes, yeah, should be. I would. I should be able to get the PDF of this PowerPoint up tomorrow morning. Um, I will try to get the video done as well, but that might be Monday before it's available. I think this is the one you need, Sally. Or yes, information? Okay. So if you if you do this www.fourthtexas.gov, all you have to do is type in 103500 in the search bar on the home page and this page will, will come up. Okay. Thank you everybody. Thank you everybody. Have a good evening. Thank you everybody.